Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Saturday edition. I'm smoking my Saturday Savinelli, the 2017 St. Nicholas. Or the tube sock, as I call it. I got a few uh, carpenter bees out here today. Flying around here, checking out the deck. And today I'm smoking Salty Dog. Guess I'll turn that right side up for you there. Salty Dog. One of my favorite plugs. Boy, those, uh, those carpenter bees are huge. Those things are massive. I thought those bumblebees were big. Things look like flying Volkswagens. But I guess they're good pollinators, so. get under the deck and see if they're doing any burrowing or not. If they're not, I'll leave them alone. <laughs> He's just flying all around me here. I guess the males don't sting at all. female sting but the males are the ones who get aggressive with you and the females leave you alone unless you mess with their their eggs or their nests so these guys here must be the males that are up here flying around me I find them. If you don't swing wildly at bees and stuff, they just leave you alone. And I haven't been stung by a bee since the 70s, and I'm I'm allergic to them, so I tend to leave them alone. So <laughs> I don't swing at them. I just sit there and let them buzz around. If they land on me, I just leave them alone. two times I've been stung by a bee was because I sat on one and the other time was when I put my hand on one not knowing it was there now it's back in the 60s and early 70s so I've been doing pretty good since then 
Oh boy, I swelled all up. <laughs> but I sat on one of them in my little bathing suit. And I was about I was less than nine years old because we were still living in Los Angeles. And I had one of those little wasn't quite a speedo, but it was one of those little tight fitting bathing suits that everybody wore back in the sixties and I sat down on my, my towel, getting out of the pool, sat down on my towel and I sat right on a bee. And my butt swelled up so big and I spent that day naked on my bed with calamine lotion all over my butt. <laughs> my brothers and sisters were just laughing at me. They made so much fun of me. My butt was all swollen up. And then I got stung again in the early 70s. I had a big barrel, it was like a, some kind of barrel they used for fertilizer or something, I don't know what it was, but my dad brought it home from his work, and I kept all my, my basketballs and baseballs and bats and gloves and football helmets and everything was kept in that barrel. So I went in there one day and grabbed the top of the barrel to reach in and grab something and there was a bee right where I grabbed it and it stung my thumb and man, my thumb swelled up. It was huge. It was like the size of my wrist. My mom wound up taking me to the doctor and he said I was allergic to bee stings. And had a if I kept getting stung I'd eventually have to have you know carry a uh, one of those pins with me but uh, I don't I just leave them alone and they don't bother me so I had an uncle that used to just, he'd see a bee and he just, on the ground, he'd put his hand down and the bee would just crawl up on his hand and he'd just let it crawl all over him, man. And it was like they never stung him, never stung him. My uncle Lewis. He just had no fear of bees at all, man. I was like scared to death of them. I'll tell you, ever since I sat on one, I always look down before I sit down on anything anymore. <laughs> it's a lesson learned.
So I watched a good movie this morning. Uh, it's called In Search of Terry Kath, the guitarist for Chicago. And it was uh, made by his daughter. She never knew him. He died when she was like two. And I love Terry Cass, man. I just absolutely loved that guy's guitar playing. I love the music he wrote. I love Chicago when Terry Cass was in it. We got a little too poppy after he died. But I loved Chicago when Terry Cass was in the band. And that man was, that man was something else. If you ever get a chance to see that, I think it also is called the Terry Kath Experience or something like that. But if you download the app Tubi, T-U-B-I, there's you can watch it on that for free. It, there's no cost or anything to that app. They got a bunch of good movies on there. Song of the South is on there, and. Uh, But that that movie is, if you're at all interested in Terry Kath in Chicago, it's a great it's a great movie to watch. I mean, I was gone way too soon. He was such a great player. I mean, he definitely doesn't get his, his just desserts. I think he's one of the, the truly great monster guitar players of all time. And uh, and a great singer, just an incredible singer. Man, his voice was gives me chills when I hear him sing. I love Chicago. Still do love Chicago. His daughter looks just like him. Man, she looks just like him. Anyway, I'm just going to sit out here. It's a beautiful day. Just beautiful. I'm just going to sit out here, finish this up. Got about a half a bowl left. And I'll catch y'all later. God bless. Have a great day. Love y'all.